Hello, it's the beginning of July, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Just made myself an iced coffee, so I've just made a coffee out of my coffee machine and topped it up with lots of ice and some milk and some flavoured syrup. It's really good. Um, this is going to be my drink of summer, I think. Just picked a ton of uh, the Everlasting Sweet Peas. They There's so much flour on those, they've become so top heavy and I can't really tie them in anymore because there's nothing to tie them into so I think next year I must remember to um, sort of snip out the heads like the, what's it called pinch out the tips a lot sooner and then they could bush out rather than grow too high Um, yeah the amount of flowers I'm getting from them is just ridiculous they it's really weird because they start off quite bright coloured and then by like another week a weekend they they're all white in the vase they lose their colours really weird <clears throat> unfortunately with the everlasting ones, they're not um they're not scented, so I haven't got that heady heady scent yet. I have got other sweet peas in the garden, just uh, annual ones, so I think it'll be a little while yet before I'm picking those. Um, my garden's looking good. I'm still patiently or impatiently waiting on a lot of things to flower, but that's because I sowed so much of it myself this year. Um, I did manage to buy in a few like bedding plants just when I saw them really really cheap. I got some, but nowhere near as much as I would normally buy. Um, and the the downside with that is that I haven't got the colour so soon but it'll come it's all coming and it's all looking really good right I can hear Tilly at the door I'm gonna let her in I've got this really annoying tickly cough it's not Covid I've checked um I had a cold a couple of weeks ago and a cough and as always what happens to me is the cough just will not go away and it's now just really annoying and of course with Covid still being a thing every time I'm out in public I really don't want to cough um, so yeah, as I was saying, I haven't, I still haven't really got my crafting mojo back much yet, so I haven't really got a lot to share in that sense, but hopefully you'll still enjoy the video and you can see what I've been up to, and um, there's lots of uh, footage of the garden in there as well, um, I can't actually remember what else is in there, I'm just going to go and edit it all now, um, so I've got my yummy coffee to keep me company, do try an iced coffee if you've got, you don't even need a coffee machine, you can just use, um, make up a really small instant coffee and just add loads of milk, um, yeah, and you can buy all the flavoured syrups as well, so if you've got that, add some in. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to stay out the heat for a bit, because I had a bit too much heat yesterday at the palace. Um, I'm going to stay in the cool house and edit the video, because it's been a while. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers! I've just had a Gusto box delivered and I thought you might like to see what's in it. And if I remember, I'll show you some of the meals that I make as well. Um, we'll get this unpacked and put away. everything that we need for four meals for two people but I always find that we get way more than we actually need so the dishes such as the chicken one and the the mince one I'll probably end up with a portion for the freezer and we never end up using all the veg either so what I normally have done in the past is made soup or I think with it being summer it's going to be a salad but um, there's lots of yummy stuff here and it saves me having to think about what to make for dinner which is just so good sometimes and Joshua who's 12 will often uh, agree to help out with these he'll do like a certain part of the, the dish so these look delicious there are elements he won't eat he won't eat spinach he will eat everything in that by the looks of it it looks delish 
Um, he won't eat the olives, so I'll just do him some meatballs without the olives. And he won't eat the onions, <laughs> and he won't eat the coleslaw. Well, he might eat his apple and carrot. Um, yeah, so they look so, so yummy. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> and these were a little freebie. One time I got a bag of chocolate for a freebie. It was um, Tony's Chocolone chocolate. So that's really nice to get a freebie. How exciting. So, yeah. That is our little grocery shop. Somebody's going to complain about all the plastic, I know, but um, it should all be recyclable, I think. Um, in the box, you get some packs. These are full of ice, like hard ice, and the meat, the meat is packed separately in those, in between all that, to keep it really, really fresh, um, as well as uh, whatever else needs to be kept cold, like the mozzarella there. So, yeah. Exciting. Yummy dinner's coming up. photography and trying to make some reels for Instagram and I realised that I should maybe take a little video and show you, show you guys what I was doing. Um, this is some products that I've dug out so I remembered I had these little schedules. Um, you get about 50 sheets on there and I know some people love making lists and schedules and things so I thought some of you would enjoy those. It does have a little like a ring on it so you can attach it to your your journal or to your pencil case or wherever, you could put it on a ring binder as well. Um, but if you don't want to buy the pack, you can make your own little uh, schedules as well. So I've got um, calendar like dates and then you've got little banners, you've got little icons at the bottom that you could use for like tick boxes and then uh, days of the week at the top there, ba more banners. Um, so I've got some papers in my shop, these cute little packs of papers, there's just a couple left. You get all these different patterned pieces, that's going to have a lot of alliteration there. Um, and I thought they would be great for stamping your little schedules on and if you were to cut them to size, cut them in half, it would make a really cute little, you could have like a month on a, on a little rectangle. And then I've got clips, so obviously you could clip them together or paper clip them. And then what I would do is, so I would stamp that on there and then I would maybe use a highlighter pen and just, you know, if I wanted to mark off what days I'd gone to the gym, I would add a dot or something or whatever you want to track. You can use a highlighter or you can use different colours for different things. I used to do a similar tracker in my journal for different types of exercise. So if I went for a run, it might be a blue dot or if I went to yoga, it would be a yellow dot, that kind of thing or whatever else you might use a tracker for. There are lots and lots of things, aren't there? So I've got stamps in the shop. I've got uh, the blocks as well. So you need to use something hard to stick the stamp on. These are acrylic stamps and they peel off of there and they are self sticky and they, they never stop being sticky. I've got ones that I've had for years. Um, and if you need to give them a little wash, you can put them in water and it doesn't affect the stickiness. In fact, that helps to revive the stickiness. So. Um, yeah, I've got blocks. I've got some different size blocks as well. If you need a bigger one for bigger stamps, I have got one in my shop. And I've also got lots of pretty inks in my shop as well. These are just a few of them. I think I have got some nice uh, greeny ones and like turquoise ones as well. So you can make some really fun things in your journal. And um, 
forget you've got like lines there as well so you can just make a, a like a list of things just stamp loads of lines under the uh, one under the other and then you can put a little circle in oh, sorry you can put a little circle in for like a little tick box obviously I should have done it to show you but I'm sure you know what I mean so if you are a list maker um, these would be really handy I just thought it was nice to gather everything together and just get a little photo because so many things in my shop and sometimes I do wonder if people maybe need a bit of inspiration on what they could use them for and these have got little such cute little borders in them as well really sweet stamps Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are, are yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry if you're gonna leave me, then just do it Don't 
Just a minute, been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah, been losing my focus like a thousand times before. Can't take this anymore. Cause I've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion. Been waiting way too long. Oh, yeah, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions. I was out waiting for something, and if I close my eyes. I got some new fabrics a few weeks ago, managed to go to an actual fabric shop, which was pretty fun. Um, so I've got this really light denim, which I thought would be quite nice for some project bags. Um, I've done them before and put like appliqué patches on the outside and they looked really cool. So I may give that a try again. I got this fun one, I just thought it was so summery. It's a bit, a little bit brighter in real life, the colours kind of motion out a little bit, but I thought that was really fun. And then I got this really fine, it's called a needle cord, so it's like a cord but really, really fine. I thought that would make some nice pouches and maybe project bags as well. So, and all three of the fabrics really look nice together as well. Um, so, I have made some pouches with the needle cord. I think they look really nice. I think it makes them, it's quite a sturdy fabric, like hard wearing. So it makes them look really nice. I've done three the same, but with different linings. I always think it's fun to see how fabrics, the same fabric will look, but with a different lining, because they can look so different and so many different things can go with them as well. So I did one with the new fun summery fabric, which I think looks, uh, it looks really good. And I've done one with this nice sort of tropical, um, like a Polynesian fabric, which I think goes well as well as well as well and i've just done one in this floral so yeah i'm pleased with those i'm going to get those in my shop shortly um i've got some other new fabrics as well show you those 
I managed to get a pretty good amount of each of these. Um, I just thought this one was so, so beautiful and there's so many different colours in that. So that means there are lots of possibilities for what to use for lining and cuff on a bag. So I thought that was really beautiful. And this one, which I've had before, but I just absolutely love it. It's just so nice for everything. Makes really nice uh, pouches as well and project bags. And then at Christmas, as you can imagine, that's such a nice fabric. It's not a deep red. Um, it's called hibiscus, I think, the colour. So it's like a faded red, sort of a pink. Um, the two fabrics actually go really nicely together as well. So that will make a beautiful bag. And um, with this one, I can do bags, pouches, baskets, all sorts. So just need to find a little bit of time to have a play with that and um, make a few more things with my other new fabrics as well. So yeah, it's just a case of finding time.